Okay, this video is going over the hold slope option for um, UMC 3D in version 2. Um, what we need to do to use the hold slope function to allow us to hold a grade is to make sure that in our job we have an active center line. So first thing I'm going to do is just go into settings and then within my test project here go into surface and make sure that I've got an active center line here in my job and, and that that's turned on. <coughs> If I now, now go into my grade screen, you can see here that we've got uh, cuts of about a metre on the right and 1.2 metres on the left. What we want to be able to use hold slope for is to extend the surface out. So what I'm going to do is go to tools, hold slope options, and hold slope always works by holding a slope at 90 degrees to the centre line. So I'm going to go from centre line. And if I hit match, it uses my blade reference point, which in my case is that little cross on the right-hand side of the blade in the section view, to calculate out the offset from the center line right now, and that is the point at which it's going to hold the grade. So if I escape out of here now, <coughs> so that's this point here, it's going to be holding the slope at this, this one here. So all I need to do now is hit hold slope, and you can see now that it's now holding this slope here and instead of um, having a cut of about 1.2 metres on the left now it's telling me to cut 0.95 and if I turn that off now you can see it's now telling me about 1.2 again and that, that's the hold slope function um, the other new feature that we have uh, that in um, the system is this automatic logging feature and I'll just quickly go through that if you go to tools store point options and then I go to page 2 here I can set the system up to record by time or by distance. Um, generally you use by distance. In my case I'm going to tell it I want to take a, a point every two meters along the alignment. And I want to add that into a file. So I'm just going to call this test and it's going to create a .csv file for me. If I want I have the option to prefix every point it records with a um, with a with a point prefix. Um, in my case, I'm not going to bother, but if I wanted to, I could put in the operator's name, plant number, whatever. Um, <coughs> in the show points and plan view, I want to tick that on so that I can see the points that it's recording and use the, what we call the external buttons. Um, this allows us to use some external switches either on the grader, dozer or excavator to turn the logging on and off. And in my case, I'm going to tell it I want to record, record the left hand side and the right hand side of the blade, um, you can choose center or the, your blade reference point are, are other options. If I escape now out into the grading screen, you can see it's got a ruler here, means it's recording by distance, and the tick on the left means it's going to record the left hand blade position and the right hand blade position, but not the center. So to activate it, I would use my external switches, and that will actually turn that logging onto on, and now you can see in the plan view here, every two meters it's recording a point um, as this uh, as this machine goes along then to turn it off so green is when it's logging to turn it off it's like now it'll be no logging not no longer logging and you can see what it does is it records when you turn the logging on or off it records a point at that point um, to get, capture your last point and really that's it for hold slope and for auto logging <coughs>